welcome back to another video um today we will be checking out the more blocks feature in scratch as well as the backpack um so let's get started so more blocks this is going to be a pretty short tutorial but more blocks allow you to execute something similar to a broadcast message um so you can and it can have a custom name you can also like add inputs to it so i'm just gonna call this uh let, let me call this um let's see i'm gonna have this called change color and move so it's gonna have a thing that says define uh so if I wanted the cat right here to change colors and move, uh, I would have to go into the looks and change color or set color to 25 or whatever I want and move. And it's going to do that. Let's see. Let me reset. But that i don't want if i wanted to do this multiple times i would have to do this like this well i mean i would also put a weight block so after a while after you've written so much code it gets a little bit glitchy um so that's that's what it does so i could just take out this and put this under define and now whenever I put change color and move it's gonna do it so it did it twice because I have two blocks but I could do this as much as I want so here's eight times so let's let's compare what it would look like and you can do it for like really complicated stuff and it's really useful so this is what it would look like two four eight so this is side by side comparison of how much space you can save and how much uh, painfulness you can save by using the more blocks feature um, so let's set up another example so if i wanted to ask a question i'm gonna do a little bit more uh complicated so i'm gonna go ahead and uh i'm gonna go ahead and delete all this stuff oh well i have to let's delete this stuff so say i wanted to ask a question but i didn't want to do the entire thing so I could say ask uh, so I could set uh, right here what to ask question mark and I would set what to ask to like what is your name question mark and ask and put ask what is your name right there and then I can set a new variable uh, name and I can set name to the answer so this is a situation where we've actually made it a little bit more complicated but we could we could normally more blocks will actually uh, it, they will actually help you out so if we were to go ahead and um, run this code, cat will ask us what is our name. And I will just say uh, scratch tutorials, and then it sets the name to scratch tutorials. Uh, the next next thing we're going to talk about is the backpack. So um, say we had uh, we we had a a script that says uh, 
to say a whole bunch of stuff. Like, say, um, hello, and my name is Scratch, and, uh, how are you, and then ask, well, I mean, we can just replace this with ask, what's your name, and then say, please, please, uh, good to meet you, and then combine this with the answer, so, we just made a simple script, well, actually, we're not going to put this in a forever loop, we're just going to say, hello, my name is Scratch, what is your name, you can say, uh, Scratch Tutorials, good to meet you, Scratch Tutorials, um, so, say we, say we didn't want to re repeat this, and we wanted to save it, so, there's this handy thing down here called the backpack, and you can just click, and you can just drag your code into the backpack, and it will save it. So, um, if we were to save now, and say we went into our thing and created a new project, and called this Meet Scratch, and we wanted the same code that was in the other project. We could just pull up the backpack and drag this in. And there's the code. And now we can run it. So that's, and you can also delete it. And that's how you use your backpack and your uh, more blocks thing. Uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial.